This is servicing the regulator on a 180R. The regulator assembly is mounted inside the frame and the pops assembly. So in order to get to the regulator assembly, we first need to remove the pops body. That's the two large screws in the bottom of the pops. Loosen and remove both of those. Both of those have been removed. Lift the pops body off. Once the pops body has come off, you'll see the stem of the piston and the regulator spring inside there. Turn that upside down, the spring will come out. Just need to pull out the piston. You will need to do this with um, preferably some soft. Uh, or flat, smooth jawed um, pliers or tweezers. Generally gris grip that and slide the piston out. First thing we're going to do here is clean any old grease and debris off the piston and piston o-ring. Make sure that's nice and clean and that there's no nicks or wear and tear on the o-ring. Shouldn't be issue these should last a very long period of time. You want to take some of your Eclipse grease and we're just going to put some of that grease around the o-ring. doesn't need an excessive amount, literally just a very thin coating all over the o-ring. Place that to one side. Then take uh, end of a microfiber, just clean out the inside pocket inside the frame where the piston goes. Get the old grease and dirt out of there, then slide the piston back in, push that down to the bottom, and then we can put the spring in there, ready for reassembly. Place that to one side now. Now we can go ahead and take apart the other parts of the regulator inside the pops body. Do this with using the 1 8 hex key through the hole in the brass body there. To loosen that and remove that. Place that to one side. This leaves us with the adjuster assembly inside. You'll need the 1 8 again. We're just going to turn this um, clockwise now. This will bring the adjuster assembly up through the body. That's the regulator fully disassembled now. Again, we can go in the microfiber, clean inside where the adjuster goes, threads are clean, and the pocket where the adjuster seals. And place that to one side. We can clean the adjuster, clean the reg body itself, the inside of the reg body, and then we can re-grease this. Um, the most important seal in here for greasing is going to be the number eight, which is on the inside of here. This is the O-ring that seals around the stem of the regulator piston. This sees the highest pressure as it there is tank pressure inside here so this this sees anything from 450 to 850 psi depending on, on what tank you have inserted so very important this o-ring is kept very well lubricated. So let's use a small hex key, some grease on the end of the hex key and then just place that onto the number eight and just work that around inside there. Make sure that O-ring is well lubricated. Any excess, you can just place that around the stem, the piston as well, when those two parts slide together on reassembly. Place that to one side. Now in normal maintenance, uh, you wouldn't need to do anything with the uh, the adjuster assembly at all, but um, for advanced maintenance, or if there's any need to, this black seal here is the main regulator seal. If this was uh, damaged any, in any way through debris or dirt getting into um, the pops, maybe through dirty tank threads or dirty air, then this seal may become damaged. 
if it just has a ring around it where the end of the piston seals against it then that's absolutely fine but there shouldn't be any large chunks or crumbling or nicks in this surface if there is you will need to separate these two parts in order to replace the regulator seal in order to do that you will need uh, your 1 8 hex key in the bottom and then remove the separate the brass cap from the stainless steel body again some flat pliers should be able to do that just loosen those two parts and remove the cap the reg seal itself is pushed down into the adjuster body here so it will take a bit of work just to go around the edge of this maybe use a pick or a scribe on the edge of the blade to pull it out I'm just using my fingernails here just to tease out the reg seal see there is the regulator seal now you can if you want to flip that over and put it back in the opposite way around or just replace it with a fresh one from your spares baggy then underneath there we have the purge spring and the purge poppet uh, again the spare ones are those in your baggie if you need them or lose them that just sits underneath there so you just um, slide your new seal in or if you just flipped it over put it back in the opposite way around push that back into place make sure it's clean and then put the brass cap back on and again just nip that into place it doesn't have to be excessively tight but you don't want it to be coming unscrewed during use so just go until it stops and there's a small amount of torque just to nip it into place and that's your adjuster assembly um, rebuilt what you don't want to do here is get any grease really on the face of the regulator seal so that will affect the performance of the regulator but we are going to need a small amount just on the o-ring on the outside and just a very small amount this piece doesn't move up and down during the function of the regulator it only moves up and down as you adjust it so it doesn't need a, a, a lot of grease on there and the easiest way to reassemble is take your hex key slide it through the hole in the bottom of the pops put your finger on top push it down into the pocket and then counterclockwise turn the adjuster and this will screw back through as a rough reset for these screw it until it stops and then go back in two and a half to three turns one two half adjuster back in place now we can put the reg body back in place screw that in and then hex key through there just want to tighten this down until the brass body is touching the metal of the pops body again doesn't have to be an excessive amount of torque on there just screw it down until it stops once that's all rebuilt double check that your spring hasn't fallen out inside there and then we can slide pops body back on to the bottom of the frame put your two pop screws back in fasten those back in tighten those up and that is your regulator maintenance for a 180R